What's up, guys? John and Sharice here. Hi, guys. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. So we wanted to come at you guys and, and help you guys out with some tips, some tricks, and some good ideas to help the relationship grow, reignite that flame maybe, or just give you some good tips that I think your partner is going to love you even more for, okay? So we came up with these great tips and tricks this week. The first one's going to be thanking each other for anything nice your partner has done for you or does for you to make them feel appreciated. Mm -hmm. That's the first one. The second one is engage in some friendly outdoor competition. And this could be with your partner or you and your partner versus some other people. And maybe it's outside doing a social distancing thing and just being healthy. So with no further ado, let's get into the first one. Thanking your partner for something nice or for something they do for you, making them feel appreciated. It's really important to give that credit, I think. No, for sure, 100%. You know, and this goes down to any little tiny thing. I mean, as far as, even if it's come to laundry. Um, the other day I was talking to John and I said, you know, even when we go out to dinner, you know, we're on the same bank account, you know, and we're paying the bill. But I always thank him for taking me to dinner. You know, it's just the little things. Or if we go out and we go shopping somewhere and let's just say I bought something at a store and we're there together, I'll thank him for getting that for me. You know, just because he's getting it for me. Even though it's off the same card, it's irrelevant because he's getting it for me. And like I said, little things. It could be maybe they brought you a snack from downstairs, upstairs. Maybe they brought you some cookies on a plate. And you say, hey, thanks. You know, thanks goes a long, Absolutely. long long way it Absolutely. makes people feel warm and fuzzy inside and you know it makes them feel appreciated for what they've done no matter what it is it could be the smallest thing absolutely you know um and at that point like when you're doing these nice things for somebody and you're getting that credit back or you're getting recognized for doing it you might want to do it more or they might want to do it more so when you do say i thank you you know just some i really appreciate honey i appreciate you bringing this to me or doing my laundry or you know waking me up or whatever it is you know, they will feel more appreciated. They won't feel underappreciated. And you won't make it feel like it's a complacent type deal. Well, you're supposed to be doing that because you're the woman. Yeah. And I'm supposed to be doing this because I'm the man. Right. You know, it's really like a partnership should be a partnership. And yes, you guys might have your own responsibilities and duties, but you still make the other person, make them feel appreciated for doing that duty, right? Give them some credit because, you know, give credit where credit's due. I think it's really important. And your partner, I think, will love you more for it or feel more appreciated and want to do maybe extra things for you guys or do those things and be happy about doing them instead of like, you know, I it's have expected. to. Yeah, like I have to do this every day. Like, you know, well, that's what you're supposed to do. You're the woman, right? Right. Well, no, that's that's not right. OK, because if you didn't have that partner, something happens to your partner. They're not going to be around to do that stuff for you anymore. Right. They're gonna, you know, or they might want to leave or, or feel underappreciated in the relationship because they feel like they're doing everything without even getting a speck of credit or an appreciation well, back to it's, them. it's really a recog yeah. like recognizing them yeah. you know like when i cook dinner for john you know which is like once a month but when i do cook dinner <laughs> he's ever so thankful for it because it's once a month yeah, right? <laughs> but he does say thank you you know anytime i ever cook dinner if i do little things around the house he says thank you i'll give you a good example okay so and i always like to give like the real life examples because yep. they're always the best right so in the mornings we get ready blah 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 blah, blah everything happens yeah, yeah, yeah okay so right john usually goes downstairs and he makes a steak with white rice he eats it every single morning it's like it, it, the, the, you're not gonna skip a beat he's gonna make it right. and every once in a while i'll want like a half a steak you know not like the whole thing but i'll want a half a steak just to get me going for the day and then i can eat lunch later so he'll always ask me hey babe do you want to have steak so then he'll make a half a steak for me in the microwave heat it up and everything so when i go downstairs as soon as i get my half a steak and i put it on the plate i'm like thank you for heating that up for me babe that's just an example you know it's something so small yeah. but i'm i am truly appreciative of it it's the smallest things but i appreciate him being so thoughtful wanting to do it for me asking me if i want to have a steak you know little things like that so right. you just got to think about it and you can reciprocate in different ways you don't have to just tell him you got maybe a surprise and you can still order flowers uh, mm -hmm. You know, the, the edible uh, fruits, you know, they, they still have those services going on. You can just get a card. You could write a card. You could write a letter to them, you know, make, making them feel good about it and how you're appreciative of all these different things. And you can make a list for them mm -hmm. if they do a lot for you. You know, and I think that's the right thing to do. And I think, you know, a lot of couples get complacent either, you know, with each other and, they, you know, they let themselves go or, or they're not, you know, 
grateful for the different things their partner provides or does help them out with, even if it's just with the kids and stuff like that, you know, because that's a big, big thing. So make sure that you're giving credit where credit's due, making sure your partner is feeling appreciated for the different things that they do for you or for the relationship or for your family. Mm -hmm. And that goes both ways for males and females, okay? And no job is underneath anybody. Right. You know, one of you guys can complete either one of these tasks, whether it's doing laundry or cooking dinner, taking care of the kids. John did that for the past four weeks while mm -hmm. I've been sick. So, you yeah. know, he's helped me with a lot of things. And I every time I'm like, thank you so much, thank you so much, thank you so much. You know, being sick, I literally I was in bed for, I don't know, probably a good solid seven days in bed mm -hmm. maybe a little longer um but he had to do everything yeah. he literally had to do everything yeah. he had to go and pick up things drop off things do things for the office he had to make calls that would normally we would share these different tasks you know like take out the trash do this do that grab food make sure peter's taken care of make sure he took a shower make sure he got up for his tutoring yeah. just a hundred million things and it can be a lot so it can be a lot you know, thank you a goes a long way. So make sure they're appreciated. Mm -hmm. That's one. The next thing. So with everything going on out there, we're going to have to get a little creative of what we're going to do together as a couple, right? Because there's certain things you can do and there's certain things you can't do right now. Mm -hmm. um, so we want to engage in friendly outdoor competition. Now this could be with you and your partner versus each other Me and having John a friendly very, competition. very, competitive. Right? Or you can have a competition against some of your friends because you can still social distance and do some of these things where they're always together and you're always together and you guys are, are you know going against each other in these friendly competitions, which is really cool because it's team building between you and your partner. So partnership building and, and bonding. And then you're having some fun with, with you know your friends and stuff like that. So let's go over just some examples, right? You guys can race each other or you can race other couples, right? And that's like jogging or racing if you guys like to do that and want some exercise along with roller skating. So you guys can race on roller skates, you guys can go against each other and do the roller skating thing. Yeah, tour activity thing. Me and John, we like to play basketball. Yeah, so you can play basketball. See how many get, you know, how many hoops do you get? How many hoops do I yeah, get? Yeah, you, you can you do know, one on horse. horse. I don't know why they cho chopped it down to some three letter word. Pig, but horse. Yeah, yeah, horse. You know, so there's a lot of ones out there. Um, so that, you know, you can play tennis together, you can play, you know, golfing together. Yep. You can go to the driving range, just see who hits the bar, ball yeah. farther, right? Top golf. Because um, it's not as big, you know, it doesn't matter how big you are, how strong you are, it's really the form and how you're hitting the ball. Mm -hmm. So that could go a long way. Um, you guys can get a giant mm -hmm. Connect Four for the backyard and do that. We, we've done that at some of the hotels, they've had these things for kids. Really fun. <laughs> um, ring toss in the backyard, cornhole in the backyard. You guys can have a water balloon fight, so if it's a real hot day, in the summer mm -hmm. you know it's gonna be hot the next day uh, maybe it's a weekend or whatever it is you guys can go against each other you guys can get the kids involved you have kids you guys can have a couple come over and you guys can do that where you guys are social distancing and try to throw, throw in here with water balloons uh, you know a, a, a water gun fight if you guys want to do that uh, you guys can jet ski so if you guys on the water you have water close to you guys you guys can jet ski together you guys can race on the jet skis mm -hmm. if you guys want to do that um, paintballing so paintballing ah. is still open um, it might be a little hot out there, but listen, that's... Be ready for a couple bruises. So you're not going to be getting six feet to somebody with, when they have a gun, because those <laughs> things do hurt if you're that close. So yeah. you guys can do that, and you guys can be on the same team, or you guys can go against each other too as well. So these are just some of the little things that you guys can do outside, be active, and get your relationship stronger, right? And like I said, you guys can do friendly competition between yourselves or between other couples, that's another one. So it's just really cool. Like you just gotta get creative out there, mm -hmm. think outside the Especially box. Especially with everything going on. You know, you guys can, you know, and love, you guys can have picnics outside. You guys can have like a picnic, like cook off between you and another couple or, or per se, or maybe you and your, your wife or husband cook your favorite dishes, which one tastes better. You guys mm -hmm. can kind of go from there. So there's a lot of different things. So think out of the box, be creative. And in this time right now, strengthen your relationship with your family with your your loved one and that will will continue on past this pandemic and things that we're doing right now mm -hmm. so just remember some of these different things these are just some of the tips and tricks that me and Cherise have came up with to you know heighten or enhance our relationship because our relationship is pretty good there's people out there that don't have good relationships and they want to know how to work on the relationships mm -hmm. and these are some of the things take it back 
Have fun together, you know? Don't lose that. Make it mm -hmm. simple. Make it easy. You don't have to have a lot of money to do fun things together. Don't make together. it so complicated, you right. know? Sometimes sometimes they'll try to coordinate something, like what he's talking about, like yeah. like say a water balloon fight or yeah. something like that, and then everything gets so detailed, and yeah. now you guys are like fighting about like, you know, how many balloons are going in each bucket, no. and you know, what are we gonna do, and how, what time are we, it just, just guys, just, just chill. Have just somebody chill. in charge of setting it up, or you put a game plan together. Like water balloons, are real easy. Yeah. Listen, you get two bags of water balloons. You fill them up. They even have these they ones that are the automatic. Yeah. They fill up ten at a time. That's cool. And you guys can just put number. Put twenty in there. Put twenty in there. Perfect. Now we're gonna go on each side. Make it simple. Start. Boom. You can even have the kids watch or be involved if you have kids, right? Or you can have you know your couple competitions too as well. So you can have the females against each other, males against each other, and then whoever scores the most points, or whatever. <clears> they, listen, they win, and you guys can you know treat them to dinner or something like that. Really simple really easy things you guys can do to heighten your relationship take it to the next level and bond together so i appreciate you guys tuning in to me and sharice thank you guys i'm so happy i'm back yes. oh, i'm getting there anyway and i'm glad you guys are tuning in every sunday yes so we're getting this a lot so thank you guys for tuning in thank you guys for dm us the questions or, or things that you guys want to hear about and i appreciate all the feedback i li literally hear from somebody every time i go out because I don't go into too many places because of what's going on. But when I do, like, hey, listen, I seen your show. It was or really the people cool. out there, you guys, those of you guys that are screenshotting it on your TV and sending yeah. it to me, it makes me feel it makes me feel good that it's being seen. So Very cool. do it. Send yes. it to me. Yes. And every week we're coming at you guys with new content, fresh segments, mm. so you guys can enjoy new things from me and Sharice. So this has been another Cupid's Corner. Thank you guys for tuning in every Sunday at 11 a.m. on ABC here in Florida. Or if you don't have that, just go to our Titan Medical Center Facebook page. It's there the exact same time, 11 a.m. Or if you miss it at that time, you can always go back and watch it any other time. Plus, we're going to put this up on podcasts you guys can listen to in your cars or at the gym where you guys can't watch us and you guys are maybe doing another activity. So thank you guys again. We'll see you next week with another Cupid's Corner, guys. Thanks, guys. See ya.